Hello everyone, my name is Anton and today I want to take a look at live preview in Obsidian. Um, I think this is really just uh, available to inside, insiders. I think this feature is only available to insiders, but um, it does give you the, the kind of WYSIWYG, uh, what you see is what you get type of feel when you're doing your, your typing into your text file. Instead of seeing the raw formatting of Markdown like we see here, you will get kind of a live preview uh, without having to actually select the preview or do your shortcut and go only into preview mode. You can edit and get the preview at the same time. So let's go in and turn this feature on. We'll go into the settings. We'll go into the editor scroll down to the bottom here and we'll see that we have the experimental live preview beta we'll turn that on and as you can see it does require a restart of the app so we'll go ahead and x out of there and we'll open it back up and now that it's opened back up we can see now that the formatting has changed on the left hand side that previously showed the raw formatting for um, for of markdown uh, we can see now that it does give us that preview that we wanted to get here and the first line does show the raw formatting but that's only because we have selected into that line so if I select into a different line you can see we can see the raw formatting and then we can edit that formatting uh, as we like so to take a look at the uh, comparison between the live preview and the preview here on the uh, right side that you would typically have we can go through and see how it differs from one to the other now this is in beta so it will not be the same and I, ho I hope that there will be some kind of parity I guess uh, going forward when they put this into more of a public preview uh, release so one of the differences here we can see that um, on the particular task list here you do have a strike through on the preview that you don't have in the live in, in the live preview but we also if you select on the lines here so if we looked up here at the top where you have the heading formatting if you click on it anywhere pretty much in that line even at the back here we can see the raw formatting if we do that on the bold, we get it. We do it on the italics, we get it. Um, same thing on the block quotes. But in the list, I've noticed that if you select in the, the, the different list, that you don't get that formatting. You really have to move the cursor all the way up to the front here to be able to see the raw formatting. So not sure why that is but um, yes this is probably something that can get fixed if it's not something that's intended if they didn't intend this to work this way but it, it does make it I guess a little bit more um, or a little harder to edit this because you will have to make sure you're selecting right up at the front in order to edit these things now let's keep going through we'll look at the Take a look at the code, uh, code block. All these look similar from one side to the next. The different links, the image. If we click on the image, we do get the formatting of that link. And we could always change this um, to where it doesn't preview the actual image here. Um, but it does give you an easy way to edit this, um, unlike the again that task list I think the task list are the only ones or the list formatting are the only ones that for some reason do have kind of a little bit of bug in them to where you have to be precise on where you put your cursor in order to edit the markdown if we go down into the table we can see the tables are not formatted so you still get the raw uh, formatting here of markdown and also the footnote is the same uh, but strike through does work here so and that's all good 
this is beta so it should get better over time this is a pretty good solid um, set of features that they've added in here so it does look pretty good I do like it now we can go ahead and turn this off I want to show if you don't particularly like this here um, the live preview that's going to be provided in the core of the application which I think is probably a better implementation you don't need a, a plug-in but there has been a plug-in that has preceded this particular feature coming into the application so if you don't have this feature you can probably go and look at this uh, community plugin that plugin is the Ozan's image and editor plugin right here I've already installed it I have it enabled and if we go into the configuration for that there we can see there there is this WYSIWYG like experience that we can enable first let me go ahead and disable the live preview beta turn that off we have to restart in order to get it um, get it committed so we'll go ahead and turn that off I mean uh, go ahead and X out of it and I will restart go back into the markdown file we can see the formatting back now and the only thing we have here you can see the image is being previewed and this is because of that plugin but if we go back into that plugin again and we enable the WYSIWYG like experience we can see now that the formatting of the markdown is similar to what we've got with the live preview um, there's even some CSS here so some of the things look a little different and if we click in the let's see here so here we do get the strike through on this particular task list and it doesn't matter where we click into that line it, it actually does allow us to see that raw formatting so we can change it um, some of the things that are not the same on that particular plugin we can see here this link is not the same uh, actually none of the links are formatted there we do get to see the image and it shows the the markdown format for the image uh, in line with the file where with the live preview it hides the actual markdown and other than that everything else is pretty much the same so if you don't have the live preview beta option you could go in and, and use this here if you want to have this live preview type of type of feature to it or the WYSIWYG feel so that was pretty much it I want to just show this this particular WYSIWYG feature and the live preview beta um, if you like the video go ahead and like and subscribe and until the next time have a good day